Um, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, today we will be talking about hearing voices. And basically, I'm going to describe this phenomenon about hearing voices, and then I will give a solution to those people who hear voices, uh, and then decide, after I've described the phenomenon, to get rid of it, what they possibly can do besides uh, what is normally prescribed in terms of medication to them. So, uh, the first point I want to make is that, uh, and this is, this is an important point because of the effects of hearing voices, and that is that a good number, a, a large percentage, an overwhelming percentage of those people who are mentally ill uh, do so because they say that they're hearing voices. And over here, I would like to uh, bring a quote uh, of a psychologist or a psychiatrist. And he is basically a Russian psychiatrist. His name was Emil uh, Vilinskovsky. And he wrote a book called Introgenesis. And he wrote about these mentally ill people. Now remember, uh, before I continue, that people hear voices, those that are mentally ill do so profoundly, but there are people who hear voices who are not mentally ill, and they're just fine. And so we're going to talk about the phenomenon from a few different perspectives, but you'll see why I start at this level first. And so the author uh, writes, almost constant assertion of patience that one influences them, induces them, telepathizes them, is, the, is this assertion to be understood as entirely senseless merely because it comes from the mouths of madmen? Or is it not the constant reoccurrence of the assertion on part of thousands upon thousands of patients, an obligation to ponder over this complaint and to attempt to pursue its cause when one after another asserts that his thoughts are besieged from the outside and when we without giving it much thought let these thousands one after the other go go the way of the lunatic asylum solely because of the madness of their assertion then possibly we who are unable to see the partial truth in the remarkable repetition of a phenomenon. Now, this is the most important, the remarkable repetition of a phenomenon. What is the phenomenon? The phenomenon is that people that are mentally ill are saying, I'm hearing voices I need, and then you give them medication and turn off their brains so they don't feel anything, and then they don't hear the voices. But if they don't take medication and their brains back on, they start hearing the voices again. And this is... A remarkable repetition of a phenomenon and so he says people that are not thinking about this that why is it all these people who are in the asylum are hearing these voices something's going on here what is it and so this is a very important point this person made then possibly we who are unable to see the partial truth in the remarkable repetition of a phenomenon stand accused of a rigid psyche as well meaning since we're not willing to look deeper into this, that what is it that every why is it that all these people that are mentally ill are complaining about the same thing, and they're all hearing these voices, and so it's not just the mentally ill that are hearing the voices, but uh, very uh, you could say uh, mentally adjusted people. Uh, so let me just give you some examples uh, of this. For example, this book, uh, Inner Whispers. Messages from the Spirit Guide. Um, and so people who say, you know, I'm talking to the Holy Ghost, or I have a, a guardian angel, or people who feel that something's guiding them, or sometimes some voices that are making fun of them, uh, debasing them, humiliating them, sexually humiliating them, they hear these voices, and they're functional human beings. Uh, and so this is, a, you know, there are many books like this on Amazon, by the way, but in psychology today, uh, you know, you're in your head hearing voices, okay? Despite their association with mental illness, uh, auditory hallucination is what psychologists call it, meaning it's auditory hallucination. 
don't always torment those who hear uh, them. In fact, only one out of every three uh, need help, so on and so forth. And then over here, let me point out uh, in here, it also says the same thing as you can see here. Mentally ill prof uh, professionals usually define hearing voices as a symptom of mental illness. Many people who hear voices are able to live with them. An example of that is somebody who says, I hear the voice of the Holy Ghost talking to me and he's a priest or a pastor. Okay, so what's really, really going on here and what is the way out of this? Because a lot of people don't want to hear these voices. So in addition to uh, what is normally done in terms of uh, the medication, I have, you know, as a Muslim, I am, pre I am going to refer you to a spiritual solution, which is a particular prayer to God, which uh, let me go ahead and bring that in front of you. And I have the link for that over there. And the prayer goes as follows. And uh, with this website, you can actually uh, go to this link and you can actually click on play and you can hear the prayer. Okay, and the prayer goes like this in its original form. <laughs> Okay, so the prayer goes like this. The prayer goes like this. I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, meaning the one true God, the sovereign of mankind, the God of mankind. From the evil of the retreating whisper, that's the, the, the beings that come to you, the jinns, the beings, uh, the spirit beings that come to you and whisper to you and then leave and then come back and then particularly, let's say, you're maybe doing something specific when they come. And every time you do that specific thing, they come and talk to you and then they leave. Who whispers in the heart of mankind or in the breast of mankind from among the jinn. So they are jinn, they are this entity called the jinn, they are invisible beings and mankind. Why mankind? Because there are some magicians who are men, who are human beings, who tell the jinns what to say in order to hurt other people. So this uh, is a prayer, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the sovereign of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the retreating whisperer who whispers into the hearts of mankind from amongst the jinn and human beings. So I have a link of that in this uh, talk at the bottom, you can get that. And so uh, when it is recited, and if you want you can keep listening, you can press play over here and keep listening to this. So it is as follows. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind. And then it says, The King of mankind and then God of mankind as you'll hear. From the evil of the retreating whisperer, or the whisperer that comes and goes, you can say. And so, the one who whispers into the hearts of human beings, from amongst the jinn and human beings. So, you know, a lot of times you have thoughts and you don't know if they're really your thoughts. And so, this is a very profound uh, statements in the Quran. This is the last chapter of the Quran that we're going over right now. And this is a prayer to protect yourself from hearing voices, particularly hearing evil voices, evil whispers. Uh, and this is something that uh, can benefit many, many people. And so basically what you do is you, um, you can, in order to have more of an effect, you can do it any time. You can pray to God any time. But particularly if you purify yourself, you wash yourself, you know, take a shower, 
and then you focus on God and you say these words, uh, it will, uh, God willing, uh, have a, a cure for you in it uh, by saying these words over and over again. And I would say for those people that have this uh, problem and want to get rid of it, they have to do this, you know, uh, at least, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day and God willing they will be cured and so I have this link here and, and of course uh, all are welcomed to read the whole of the Quran uh, you know from beginning to end and that will itself uh, have a big effect on how they how, how much they're able to affect you okay thank you